Hello, welcome back to my ASMR channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so happy to see you guys and to be here with you guys. We're going to do a cooking video today. I've been requested this a long time and I'm finally getting around to it. I set up with, my setup is a little bit tricky because the kitchen here is not the best for like filming setups but hopefully you can see me hopefully you can hear me well and hopefully you can also hear all the sounds of the baking I'm actually gonna be baking something so instead of cooking because I have a sweet tooth <laughs> so hopefully you enjoy the ASMR sounds that come along with the baking and hopefully you'll be relaxed Join me to making these mini fruit tarts. They're gonna be delicious. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I'll have the recipe in the description in case anyone wants to make them themselves as well. Um, so let's get started, right? <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna do the dough, of course. I have about a cup and a half of uh, all-purpose flour. So we're just gonna dump that into the mixing bowl. If you hear any noises, my dog is right here, so sorry. Beautiful. Now, I'm gonna add, uh, this is about half cup and a little bit more of powdered sugar, but the recipe calls for sifting the sugar. That is what we're gonna do, okay? Let's see if this makes sounds. <laughs> okay, let's sift this into the flour. This way there's absolutely no big lumps of sugar. tiny bit of salt. It's not coming out. That's good. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna mix it up really quickly. We're also gonna need butter. Um, about eight tablespoons and I'm going to cut it into uh, smaller chunks. Sounds kind of nice. I'm just playing with butter. It's okay, it sounds nice. So let's do that. So there's eight total here. This is half a cup of butter. One bar, one stick. and I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces. It's pretty warm in here, so this butter wants to already start melting. Okay, I'm going to add that. the bowl. And I'm gonna just kind of mix it a little bit. And then we're gonna start adding four egg yolks. Um, one egg yolk at a time, per preferably. This is gonna take a, a few minutes to like mix but it's okay you just gotta have patience <laughs> so these are already three egg yolks in here let me get a fourth one
I'm gonna save the egg whites for to eat like for breakfast or something, you know? I don't wanna waste them. Now let's just start adding it a little by little. This also requires a little bit of heavy cream. Just shaking it up. Just about a little bit more than a tablespoon. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Probably, and I, we can add more if um, need be. A little bit of vanilla extract. This is vanilla flavor. I don't have extract right now, but it's okay. Now we want to mix this really well until it becomes kind of like a sand material or like little, little clumps, little balls the size of peas and then we're going to form it into a dough and freeze it. So I'm going to just go ahead and keep mixing until I get there. I'm actually finding it easier to use a fork than a whisk, so that's just a little tip. You could use a handheld mixer or a standing mixer, but that wouldn't be good for ASMR. So I like the consistency of it now, so I'm going to just mold it together now. Just getting everything off the fork. It's, uh, my hands are clean, so I'm just going to form it into a ball. Kind of knead it a little bit, make sure it's all mixed. as good as we're gonna get um because it has butter right now so it's pretty warm i'm going to put this in some plastic wrap and put it in the freezer Do this with one hand. <laughs> this hand is very dirty with dough. Like that is flat. It's like one to two. A little bit sticking out. There you go. Now, into the freezer. This goes for maybe like 30 minutes to an hour. Probably leave it in for an hour to be honest. Okay, now that the dough is chilling, I'm going to start making the custard. We're going to need eight 
egg yolks and it's gonna be um, heated up on the stove so I'm just gonna start by doing this here and then we can move to the stove okay okay so let's add eight egg yolks doing it so gently because I don't know I feel like when you make an ASMR video you have to do things gently <laughs> and I also don't want to break the yolk obviously but if I was just baking regularly three I would be going fast I don't know why but I just do things fast okay four is a lot but it's gonna be worth it five six <laughs> seven this is a lot of egg whites but it's okay because i eat a lot of eggs so this is what i'll be eating for breakfast <laughs> okay. that's eight all right one two three four five six seven eight so let's let me throw this away and then put the egg stuff away. All right, now let's add some white sugar to the egg yolks. We're gonna need five and a half tablespoons. One. This is supposed to be a half, but I'm just gonna make it a uh, sixth. <laughs> okay, now let me mix this together. Okay, now we're gonna add some flour and cornstarch, and it requires sifting, so I'm just gonna put this here. <laughs> and I'm gonna add almost three tablespoons of cornstarch. Two and three. This is flour, just about three tablespoons. One, two, three. And I'm gonna sift this into the egg mixture. Now I'm going to add about 750 milliliters of whole milk. Slowly, not to spill anything. Okay. And a little bit of vanilla extract, like a teaspoon. I'm going to mix this a little bit more and then I'm going to take this over to the stove, okay? Next step is going to be the fruit and the preparing the fruit. So I have a little bit of blueberries left. I'm just gonna put these in here. I don't really need to cut them, but I want them ready for when we top our pies. 
and I have a peeled peach. I just peeled it and I'm going to slice this like into really thin slices and then put them in a bowl so that it's ready for the assembly. Let me just show you all the fruit. We also have a kiwi that we're going to slice um, into thin slices and strawberries, okay? So let's get to cutting. So I took out the pie crust from the freezer and I put it down here with some flour and I have the camera angled so you can see it better. I'm going to roll this out and make it flat, okay? Just adding extra flour. Because we don't want it to stick. very cold. Try to make it all the same thickness and then I have these really cute little foil pie crusts. They're so cute! <laughs> I'm going to cut out circles with uh, a mason jar lid because I don't know where my cookie cutter is. <laughs> And then I'm going to place it onto here. Like this. Can you make it look pretty? There you go. So this lid size is perfect for a three inch 
What is this? Pie crust. I mean, <laughs> pie tin foil. Yeah, okay. Look at it, so cute. So I'm gonna keep doing that and then I'm gonna place them on a baking sheet. And then we're gonna bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, for about eight minutes or until until it's like golden brown on the edges and then we're gonna let it cool okay so I'm just gonna get to it because it's gonna take me a little bit of time okay so some time has passed and just don't mind the stove I have dinner cooking because I'm so hungry <laughs> But I'm going to assemble these now because these are done. They come out, they come right out. It's so cool. And I can reuse these because they're not really damaged. Um, so what I'm going to do is put a dollop of custard, like three fourths of the way full in the cup. And then we're going to top with the fruit. That's good. Let's see. Then let's put some strawberry, kiwi, mm -hmm. put a small peach slice, and a couple blueberries. Look at that. I'm going to put a little bit more. This one's too big. Dude, it's so cute. Trying to show you without having to walk over there. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, it came out so good. Okay, let me uh, finish assembling them and then we're gonna try it, okay? Okay, so here they are, all assembled. Kilo's licking his lips because he knows there's fruit and he loves strawberries. Um, they're so beautiful, they came out so nice. Um, I definitely recommend it. And now it's time to dry one. really good kilo. <laughs> it's really good. I highly recommend it. Um, so the recipe made uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 16 to 8, um, uh, to 17 mini tarts i hope you like this video i hope you learned how to make little mini fruit tarts and i'll talk to you again soon